all right what i was going to show you now was just add it into the blog so again some of this stuff over here as i've said it's just dragging and dropping so, so not a blog i say poll so poll you know if you look at the one here i just sort of just put this up an example poll question for the first term you know a big priority area for me this term is to ask questions be an independent worker blah 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 so you can click on it and then you can click on it and then press vote okay so that's the idea and again you can relate it to your classroom context so if i go sort of to 7f We'll use that a few times, and if I, you know, I might even just chuck it on the homework page here. Why not? Okay, so I want to enter the blog. Okay, I oh, saw the blog. I keep saying that. Uh, poll, just drag and drop. Again, sometimes a bit clunky, takes a long time. Okay, so this thing called Poll Daddy. Okay, so that's where the polls, um, you know, sort of external program, works within Weebly. Okay, so if I set up a new poll with Poll Daddy, I click on that. Okay, and you can see here. I can edit the poll. Taking some time, but what it may come up with. Okay. So, as you can see here, some people have already voted, but um, you, I can go and create a new poll. But when you first come in here, it will actually tell you to create the poll daddy account. It's a pretty simple thing to do. Okay, so you just got to join up for that external program, okay, but um, I've already done that, so that won't take you long to do yourself, just to create a new Poll Daddy account, but you do it all within Weebly. So you create a new poll, okay, so it's pretty simple, and then you can go, well, um, you know, how cool are you, question mark, answer, heaps cool, um, Kind of cool, off the hook, cool. Okay, so let's just say that's just, um, yeah, our answers. So again, you can look at your poll results. People could be, once they vote, they better see the results. And you can choose, um, obviously, if you want it as a percentages or, you know, just the number of vote, you know, um, the number of choices. So you've got one, two, three, three choices, you know, and you can choose to share the link, you know, allow, you know, allow, um, you know, allow people to um, you know vote more than once etc okay so anyway I might just go save poll cool okay so it gives this option here you just stick with this one for the timing okay it's all about talking about the different styles okay I'm not going to make my own style just stick with whatever they've done click save poll another thing pops up okay and now I'm going to see it says here sending poll I want to send the poll to that web page I just made uh, on the homework page here and you can see here, it will take go flash and then ping. How cool are you? Well, you know what? You get to choose. Okay. And possibly I go back and just obviously I didn't do that one too right there. Okay. Everyone clear on that? So have a go at doing that. You can just again play around with it, drag and drop a poll in, and then sign up for it. And you're able to do these too. Okay. So if you look at sort of the other one here at Burning to Learn, um, you know, go home, the home page here. So the poll for the week one, I think three people have voted on it. I think I told Jess to, just to test it out. And I think someone else did, and I did. So if I go, you know what, I'm going to go further with my learning. Click on vote. You can see, well, that's what I sort of, you know, I'm going to be, um, obviously, you can see this put up there, but that's what the people see once they've voted. Okay, so have a go at doing some uh, polls.